54, another story. Yes, yes. Back in 2012, I was in a long distance relationship with a Korean guy from Busan. We were sitting there on a date map. No, not Tinder. When did Tinder come out? Anyway, he's really handsome, sweet, and he can cook. I was told that most Korean men can cook, so I guess it's not a big deal to them. To me, he was perfect, except he was in language barrier. He knew a bit of English, and I knew. The time difference isn't too big, so that didn't stop us from talking every day. What were we talking about? Uh, we were just mostly showing each other what our lives were like. He's a chef, so he'd send me pictures and videos of the food he cooked. There were a few times when he video called me while driving. Why do Korean men always video call me while driving? Is that even safe? His friends were in his car. They would attempt to speak to me in English by asking questions like, Uh, do you know Harry Potter? Hell yeah! Harry and I like this. Nah, I didn't say that. I wish I did though. They'll probably be like, Hey, sorry ma! Oh, I met his mom. Well, more like, she was just washing dishes in the background. And then she saw my face on his phone and asked, Who's oh, she? And then I heard him say, She's my English friend. I pretended I didn't hear that, just brushed it off. She was really pretty though. You know them ones when you can tell that they've had something done? Is that me? I mean, sometimes I can't tell when someone has plastic surgery. And didn't you see like the super obvious ones? Yeah, that's... Maybe I should have stopped that she's pretty. Back to my story. While we were texting each other, you can tell when someone's using Google Translate or any online translator. It was that bad. He sent me these long messages. And it wouldn't make sense at all. I mostly replied to a hee hee or an emoji like... <laughs> That relationship only lasted two months. Up until now, I'm still surprised it lasted that long. He was really charming. For our one month anniversary, I bought that couple necklace from the Korean drama Stairway to Heaven, and I sent him one part of the necklace while I was wearing the other part. Every time he'd take a selfie or video called me, I'd see him wearing it. I was worried because that material was quite cheap, and I thought he might leave dirty greenish marks around his neck. Guess what happened to my necklace? So we talk every day, but suddenly I didn't hear from him for a whole day. At first I thought, oh, I guess he must be busy at work. But then it went from days to weeks, and I started getting worried thinking, did something happen to him? I tried texting him, calling him, no answer. About two weeks later, he posted photos kissing who I'm assuming is his new girlfriend. And of course he's Korean. When I saw those photos, I wasn't mad at him. I don't know if it's because of the whole language barrier issue, but seeing him happy made me feel really happy. There's nothing more that I wanted. I think even if he wanted to break out with me properly, he wouldn't be able to because he doesn't know how to say it in English. So his only option was to... Leg it. Has this put me off from being in another long distance relationship? Not really. However, if there's a language barrier, that's where I draw the line. I can't talk dirty using Google Translate. What if it comes out like, I'm so soaked for your big... Pickle? Hi, my friend Ron is the author of this book right here. Inside, there are exercises that can help you learn Korean. If you're interested in buying this, I'll leave the link to the website below. Um, have you ever been in a long distance relationship? Share your stories in the comment below.